Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me, for you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me and guide me for the sake of your name. We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. May dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart, together we say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have, done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, saints and, and you, you my dear brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God of mercy us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so passionate by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flowers of the field. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass, its flower droops, and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. 
Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed, from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Two days before we enter the new season of our liturgical calendar, and we are now in the last week or last Sunday, yesterday, before entering the holy season of Lent, we come today, mother, brothers, and sisters, to ponder again, to reflect again, and examine the infused virtue that we possess, that we have individually as we carry out day by day. Our readings of today, mother, brothers, and sisters, tell us about faith which we should emphasize in our daily lives. St. James, in our first reading of today, speaks to us in truth. You know, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking and nothing. Mother, brothers and sisters, encountering various trials, I guess and I believe, this is not new to us. Various trials are always side by side as we walk in this life. But to handle these various trials, it should be equipped with faith. If our faith is not well-founded as it is in our life, everything is in danger. Kaya nga po, ito'y nauuwi sa paghingi ng tanda o paghahanap ng tanda sa buhay natin. Minsan, sa mga pagsubok na hinaharap natin o paghihirap na dinadaras natin, ang kasagutan tila bagay sa paghingi ng tanda o paghanap ng mga tanda upang matugunan ang mga ito. Nakasalalay ang sagot 
sa ating mga pinaniniwalaan na kung minsan hindi ito kaugnay sa ating pananampalataya, hindi kaugnay sa gawa at nanais ng Diyos para sa atin. My dear brothers and sisters, we admit that we live surrounded by many signs and symbols that could be our guide or direction to have a better way of life. Most of the time, this is serves for our convenience, purposes, and we want this. Relying on the signs, my brothers and sisters, is to prove everything. And sometimes, sabi ko nga po kanina, nagiging solusyon in times of confusion, times of doubt. Kung tayo ay nakakaranas ng mga pagsubok, ito ang ating inahanap. But again, my dear brothers and sisters, this kind of living with unbelief, this kind of living with unbelief. Parang bagang tayo ay hollow sa ating pananampalataya at pagtitiwala sa ating Panginoon. Our gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we heard, the Pharisees seek a sign from heaven, seek a sign from our Lord. And what does it mean? When they seek a sign from the Lord, it means weakness of faith. It means that Jesus is not yet enough for them to hold on for their salvation. For they still need signs and wonders from Jesus. They demand that Jesus demonstrate a legitimacy of His action. Jesus is truly aware of the hostility and unbelief of the Pharisees who are opposed to the revelation of God's grace in Him. They want proof that Jesus is truly a promised Savior. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, our readings of today calls us not to be like a Pharisees looking or seeking for a sign every day to prove the presence of God in our lives. We are here today to remind us to awaken our faith, not relying on the signs that we like in our life. We like that we possess or to see or to hear, to experience in this life. But again, we are awakened of our faith to embrace our Lord to experience the real presence of God in our lives. Because, remember, Mother Bals and sisters, it is an ordinary way of life that the mystery of God's kingdom is to be found because everything that we have is full of God's glory for those who have faith. Jesus comes to reveal God's love. Jesus comes to us to reveal His glory and invites us to receive it always as we journey, as we walk together. Love and faith are always and necessarily beyond proof. Pharisees in our gospel today, the Pharisees' blindness to many manifestations of God's love everywhere is not our way of life or way to live, to imitate because they are always looking for something. They are looking for extraordinary but they, Jesus refused them as a part of their lives. Mother, brothers and sisters, we are blessed today because we have our Christian faith in which too much to see and to hear each day because the Lord is always at work deep within each of us and among us. Always live in faith. Amen.
Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, we turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. And in every petition we say, God of salvation, let us open to you. God of salvation, let us open to you. That the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart, let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. That as sinners, we may come to a deeper realization of the love and mercy which God has for all who turn to Him with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of salvation, salvation, let us open to you. That we may have a deep and true faith in God, which is not limited to external signs and appearances. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of salvation, salvation, let us open to you. That the sick may realize God's constant love for them, despite their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of salvation, salvation, let us open to you. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. O oh Lord, guide us all the days of this troubled life. Grant us safety and blessed peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless the you, Lord God of all praise, your goodness, and have received the bread you offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all grace, and for goodness we have received the wine you offer you, fruit of the wine and work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise. Yet our thanksgiving self ye give, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are, are full, full of, of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, who comes in, the in the name of the Lord, 
Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, o Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in this passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that heaven is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be God and to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we are merit to be coerced to eternal life, and I praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, inferred by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, Give us this day, day our, our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. For the smelling of the body of all of us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us life and life. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.